Thanksgiving is less than 24 hours away, and that means the clock is ticking to get your perfect dinners ready. News 3's Ashley Lewis is on your side this afternoon with ways to help keep your turkey moist and juicy after cooking. Thanksgiving is just a day away, and for many of you, that means last-minute trips to the grocery store. I'm here at Divine Dinners, and I'm joined by Lori Cooper, the owner, and she's going to show us how to brine a turkey. So tell me, what do folks need if they want to brine this turkey? Well, you need to have, obviously, your turkey, and this is for like a 14, 16-pound turkey, a cup of salt, half a cup of brown sugar, some candied ginger, allspice berries, and cracked pepper. What exactly is brining a turkey? Brining is, is soaking it in a, a salt solution for about 8 to 12 hours. And what it's going to do, it's really going to plump up that turkey and it's going to absorb some of the salt and a lot of the fluid so that you get a perfectly tender turkey every time. What are you going to demonstrate for us here? So it's real easy to make a brine. We already have our turkey thawed and I've already cleaned out the inside. And then moving over to the stove, I have some vegetable broth. I'm going to go ahead and add the salt the um, sugar, the candied ginger, allspice berries, and cracked pepper. And at this point, all you have to do is make sure that everything is dissolved. I already had the broth warm, so it's just going to take just a minute. And then what we'll do is we'll let that cool down. We'll drop our turkey in and then cover it in ice water. Thank you so much, Ms. Cooper. For more information on how to brine your turkey this Thanksgiving, just visit our website, WRBL.com. I'll send things back into the studio. On your side in Columbus, Ashley Lewis, WRBL News 3. Well, thank you, Ashley and Lori. Some sound advice for our Thanksgiving holidays.